Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Janine and I'm pleased to come to you with another process video. I am in my illustrating Bible today and the psalm is <clears throat> Psalm 139 which is about the all-knowing ever-present God. In verse 7 it reads where can i go to escape your spirit where can i flee from your presence if i go up to heaven you are there if i make my bed in sheol you are there if i live at the eastern horizon or settle at the western limits even there your hand will lead me your right hand will hold on to me if i say surely the darkness will hide me and a light around me will be night even the darkness is not dark to you. The night shines like the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. And as I was thinking about this wonderful psalm, I decided to call it Never Alone, to title my journaling entry, Never Alone. What I'm going to do is try something that uh, I've seen in different places on, on YouTube and also on Pinterest, and I thought I would give it a try i'm going to do a handprint my right hand print representing the right hand of god holding onto my right hand and uh, the right hand is powerful so i'm going to focus on um verse 10 well really it's the entire uh, section of scripture here in verse excuse me in psalm 139 I'm just using a gelato to highlight verses 7 through 12. And what I have here is some illustrated faith um, uh, acrylic paint. <clears throat> and I'm going to paint my hand with this acrylic paint. And uh, when practicing this earlier, I discovered that I had to get a fair amount of paint on my hand and I had to make sure that I pressed down on my hand so that um, I, I got a good impression and didn't have a lot of spaces. So I'm just gonna get this paint on my hand. There's nothing else on my hand but the paint, no oil or water or anything like that. And when I tried this earlier, I tried it on a regular piece of uh, copy paper, and so I am hoping, and I did not try it anywhere in this illustrated Bible, so I'm hoping that it works out pretty well. I also use a different brand of paint, so let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. And I'm just pressing down on my hand. I wanna make sure my fingers get a good connect. And hopefully this will go very well. I'm gonna carefully lift up my hand. And what I see is that I got a little, um, a little bit of the paper came up. I did not anticipate that. So if you try this in your illustrated, illustrating Bible, just know that you may have a little bit of the paper come up. Maybe my hand was just a little too dry. Uh, didn't tear the page, but I did get a little bit of the paper coming up. So I'm going to wash my hand. and I'll... All right, I'm back now. And I'm going to suggest that if you use uh, the Illustrated Faith paint, or if you're going to do this in your Illustrating Bible, that you dilute the water. When I tested it earlier, this whole process, I used the Liquitex Basics, and I didn't have any um, problems uh, with any paint, <clears throat> excuse me, with any uh, of the page tearing or anything like that. So I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces. I've, got, I've just got a regular brush. Um, it's a number seven brush. And I'm just going to dab that on, just following uh, the shape of the handprint. And... I'm doing that just want to talk to you about this psalm uh, it speaks to God's universal presence and sometimes we can think oh 
surely God isn't everywhere because we know that things happen in this world that God wouldn't agree with. But uh, the reality is that God is omnipresent. That means he is everywhere. And even though God may not be agreeing to what's happening in that location or in that situation, that in no way uh, diminishes the omnipresence of God. He is just uh, everywhere. And uh, the psalm, psalmist is acknowledging that um, I am grateful that God is with me. And uh, I'm really grateful. This psalm caused me to think about difficult times in my life when I felt that I was when I felt I was alone, there was there was a time when I just literally felt bereft of his his presence uh, as if he was not near me. And God, godly people assured me that God was near me. And they also convicted me to be faithful. Um, something may be happening and you may not be really... Uh, feeling God's uh, presence, or maybe you're not feeling, uh, excuse me, hearing God's voice, but th that means, so, you still have to be uh, accountable, and there's no excuse, uh, there's no excuse. We have no excuse to sin, and so I was convicted that even though it seemed that uh, I was really not hearing him, I couldn't really feel his presence the way I had in the past, that, that was no excuse. Let me tell you, I did get myself in trouble and I kind of uh, drifted into a situation that I had no business being in. Uh, but God delivered me from that and has uh, enabled me to, to heal in many places in my life. So I'm grateful um, for that. The other thing that I wanted to mention with this psalm is uh, that <clears throat> God intentionally created each and every one of us and put his breath in us so that we could live. Uh, he is just, uh, he is the source of life and he is an intentional God. I hope you can see this. I'm just filling in the handprint and knocking stuff off the desk. Filling in the handprint where I didn't get the best impression. And uh, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. There are no perfect journaling entries in this Bible. Uh, it's worship. And I am grateful for this time spent with the Lord, uh, worshiping Him through art. I'm going to leave this place space blank because I'm actually going to put a photograph of myself there. I was searching for an image and I thought I would do... And I thought I could even consider doing some flowers on the page and all of that. And then I said, you know what? I'm just going to put myself there because it says he's holding me. Now I'm going to, even though this acrylic paint is going to dry pretty quickly, I'm actually going to use my uh, heat gun to dry it because I'm going to write the words of a psalm, excuse me, a hymn on this. So I was saying that I just wanted to assure you that God intentionally created you verse 13 it says for it was you who created my inward parts you knit me together in my mother's womb i will praise you because i have been remarkably and wondrously made your works are wondrous i know this very well my bones were not hidden from you when i was made in secret when i was formed in the depths of the earth your eyes saw me when i was formless all my days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. And I just wanted you to know that if you were ever told that you weren't wanted, that uh, you have no business living or being here, I just want to show you that God made you on purpose. He put life in you and your life has a purpose. And it may be strange for people to think that I would mention this during a Bible journaling process video. I do have a background as a mental health provider and I've worked with people in counseling and therapy and did assessments at a psychiatric hospital at one point 
in my career. And I can tell you that people, if you don't already know, people go through some terrible things. And there are people who doubt their very existence and their value. And I just want to assure you that if you're one of those people, if you know someone who feels that way, direct them to this psalm or you read this psalm or you study this psalm. God made you on purpose. He put his life, the breath of life in you, and he intends for you to be here. I don't know what your purpose is. Seek God. Seek, uh, seek God. Seek God's will for your life because he does have a purpose for you. You were put here on purpose. You were very deliberately created. Uh, I love this because this psalm tells us that God knows us so intimately. He knows what the word is before we speak. He knows when we come in and when we go out. And yet he has encircled us and he has put his hand on us. We're important to him. And even though we're not perfect, we're sinners saved by grace we all need a savior and a savior is Jesus. God loves us so much. I want to encourage you to know and believe that God absolutely loves you and is glad that you're here because he made you on purpose. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write some of the words from a hymn uh, on this page following the outline of the palm print. And uh, the hymn is Never Alone. It's in the public domain. Did a little research before I printed it out. And uh, it was published, I think, in 1892 or 1852 or something. A long time ago. Uh, and they don't know who wrote it. But the words are, I've seen the lightning flash and heard the thunder roll. I've felt sin's breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. I've heard the voice of my Savior telling me still to fight on he promised never to leave me never leaving never leave me alone no never alone no never alone he promised never to leave me never to leave me alone and down at the last verse um well i'm just gonna read the third one when infliction afflictions valley i'm treading the road of care my savior helps me to carry my cross when heavy to bear Though all around me is darkness, earthly joys are flown. My Savior whispers his promise, I'll never never leave you the alone. He died for me on the mountain. For me, they pierced his side. For me, he opened the fountain, the crimson cleansing tide. For me, he's waiting in glory, seated upon his throne. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. And when I was looking at this, um, Psalm and the then the hymn. Initially, I was going to put the the words of the scripture here, but the scripture's right there highlighted. So I thought, you know, um, it's a wonderful song. Uh, I love the sentiment, and um, there's so much in hymns. There's really a lot in hymns, uh, and uh, so I'm going to write the words of this hymn here, or some some of the words. Um, So I'm going to do, let's see, no, never alone, no, never alone. No, never alone. When I worked on this earlier, I figured out that I have to um, turn the Bible. <laughs> he promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. And I probably should have just followed it all the way around the first time instead of switching directions, but oh well. And I got paint on my... Let's see. Oh, here we go. I, 
think I bought these pins at Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of um, about 50 different colors. Some are matte and some are sparkly. So this is like a gold sparkly color. So. And I'm going to do verse 3. When in Afflictions Valley. Afflictions. Valley. You know, this is real time. And um, so you may, I, I may be just going a little slow for you. Um, <laughs> I am treading the road of care. My savior. Helps me to carry. My cross when heavy to bear. Heavy to bear. Though so all around me is darkness. Me is darkness. Earthly joys. All flown. My Savior whispers his promise. I never will leave thee alone. And that is his promise. He will never leave us alone. And I'm going to put my face there. <laughs> so this is a picture of myself. Because he is holding me with his right hand. And you know what? It dawned on me. I put so much in my Bible that doesn't actually look like me. Well, I can put myself there. So I'm going to get some glue. Glue. And uh, I hope this sticks because I got a lot of texture on this page with this, this acrylic paint. I'm really loving these wide margins in this illustrating Bible. I'm going to put some on the page and on the picture. And let's hope that this sticks. I am held by God. He holds me. I'm gonna have to get some tape in his hand. His powerful right hand. And he holds you too. So of that we can be assured of. God is a possessive God. And he wants to absolutely uh and he does keep up with his creation and we are his creation. And I pray that you get to spend some time with the Lord today. Hopefully you have uh, done a devotional or prayed or maybe done your own Bible journaling. And uh, that you have had a wonderful time worshiping God at some point today. I hope that you hit the like or subscribe button so you can see more of these videos i'm going to now put some stickers on here and i'm going to sometimes i use my fingers i thought maybe i would try these tweezers maybe that'll help me 
get these down. Maybe it will make no difference at all. I don't know. I do feel like I have a little bit more control in uh, lining them up. I'm not sure where I got these stickers. I may have bought them at Hobby Lobby or probably Hobby Lobby. Never. Never alone. Actually, I think. Well, that's crooked. That art is crooked. Let me get this up. Hmm. Maybe not. I have noticed that the pages in this illustrating Bible or illustrated Bible are definitely different. Like if I was using my other, I think it's a Crossway ESV Bible with a single column, I could have pulled that up very easily without tearing the page. But that was going to tear. So I had to change plans there. Never. Hmm. Never alone. Never alone. I'm so grateful for the abiding presence of God. Never alone. I also wanted to mention that I'm working through a devotional. And it has really blessed me. And is inspiring uh, many of the like journaling, um, much of my Bible art journaling. The devotional is Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. I highly recommend it. I'm already in February. Uh, it is just, it's just wonderful. And this particular entry is from uh, day four of that particular devotional. She's got uh, quite a few devotionals out there and I have enjoyed every single one of them. I'm going to put a little paper clip on this page. I think it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you can't really see it. It's, it's beautiful. It's like a blinged out flower from Minnie Rose Co. And I'm just going to uh, put that on my page. Oh, I wish you could see it. Maybe I'll get a good picture of it at the end. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. That is my entry for Psalm 139. You can't really see that. I wish you could see that clip. And uh, you know what? Don't be afraid to put yourself in your Bible, like literally. I don't know if, if you do memory keeping uh, or maybe you do some type, other type of art journaling and that's where your photos of your family and friends go and yourself. But you know what? Put yourself in your Bible. Right? You're worthy. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like again, I said, hit the uh, like or subscribe button and so that you can um, see what's up next. I will see you next week. Be blessed this day. Bye.